Hello everybody, and finally, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. It's crazy. It's been now like two and a half weeks or something since we last recorded, and I think those that have been active on my channel know why that is the case. Um, because yeah, I moved. You see, everything looks a little bit different, like the lightning. Everything sounds probably a little bit different as well. The setup is... It's weird okay it, it feels really weird it feels really weird to speak right now as well you know before and i had the luxury to basically record whenever i want to without disturbing anybody because i was basically living without anybody really around me outside of my family and that's now no longer the case so yeah a lot of things had to be done first before i could record and yeah i think that's all i can really say before and because let's focus on what we want to check out, okay? Because the first thing I wanted to check out before and already, before moving, is something really interesting. And I'll say it like this. <laughs> I think it's good that we are speaking English and not German, because I feel like if my, neighbor, my neighbors understood what I'm talking about it, and I would maybe get investigated a little bit, we're going to be checking out the worst slash secret ending for The Devil and Me, and then after that, all the deaths. All of them. Okay, at least I think so. At least uh, I'm not sure. You know, I have to see if the video really has them all or not. Um, the first one we're checking out, like mentioned, is the secret ending or like the alternative ending. You know, we had the ending with um, the ship, obviously, or what means ship with the boat, you know, where everybody could have been on. Um, and what we have here is Mark and Kate captured by the Met. And remember that bearing. I remember the bearing with um with Mark um where he was in some sort of chamber. I guess it's going to be happening here. So let's see what happens. Mark? Video by oh, Cheng Tong will be in the description. Check it out there. Yeah, it feels what? so weird to speak right. And again, I don't know why the light is so different. I don't know what's missing. Like I was in a window beforehand, like in front of one, but I actually always had sheets down, so I don't know. I don't know what else to do differently, honestly, to fix the lighting a little bit. I will see maybe if I can change that a bit in the future. Honestly, I think I will increase the tempo a little bit. Can you hear me? I think I will increase it a little bit too, you know? But again, it, it looks weird. Sticky door, help mark. I remember that bearing too. This smart motherfucker. <laughs> He even dresses up as Mark. But yeah, you will already... Okay, I will be trying to... Be definitely less noisy, loud. I mean, as long as nobody says something, I guess I'm fine, right? But... That's the chamber. But Mark agrees to help. In what way? Like, the person we saw at the beginning of the game, who we thought was the Matt, was actually, which I found out, which I didn't even know in that moment we saw Swarbs. No, 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 no. Let me out! Was Let Morello, me out, okay? Bitch. Which is. It really blew my mind when I realized it. What you oh doing? boy. Hey. I remember that scene from the trailer, actually. Stop. Like this. Where she had this. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. And it's like. In her nose. Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking god. Immediately reminds me of Saw again, though. Saw 6. With the. Um, with the fauna trap there. Morello? My name is Joseph Morello. What is it? I'm a true crime author. If you're hearing this, then yesterday we met and I led you to believe I was Glanton Dumet. Yeah, yeah, that's... I had no choice in the matter. I was asked to do this by the actual Dumet. Uh -huh. And now... Flash Hector Monday. I need you to do the same thing and make a call. The number is on speed dial. Whoever answers, you need to tell them that you are Dumet. There's a script in front of you. Use it. Then get them to the island. Wait. What? Mark. Just 
like so I do to you. Ferry them over. Get them into the house. Didn't I say at the end I'm of the sorry. final part that I this feels like a circle? The only way he'd give me back my daughter. And it wasn't I, the wife anymore, but the. I need it. I had to get her back. So this is the same situation. I'm so sorry. But it was Morello in that chamber and Make her on that. Oh my god. The or fact don't. that he does it with children Maybe too. Stronger than I am. But they died but nonetheless, so. You care about, they don't have much time. Yeah, kill them anyways, right? I feel that. What? We're the only ones who made it. Everyone else. Shit. Everyone else is dead, Mark. But that's why we didn't get there. Because Kate was dead. It only had. Let's go. I wonder though, does it, why does it only happen with Mark and Kate? Why don't we, why not with the others? I mean, they have this anger going on, right? But why not with Jamie and everything? You know, if the order wants left, but <sighs> you really want, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, now it's the. Hmm. Fuck, what a way to go! Mark, I think you should make that call, please right? Do it. Whatever he wants, please. Please get me out of here! But that's like insane, though. Okay, so if he doesn't do it, then I guess both of them die, and if he. Alright, yeah. All right, I'll do it. Wow. But that's like edge. I'll say it like this. I feel like from all the games, this might be the legit most evil thing from anybody. Yeah. That's insane. It's legit serial killer stuff. Torturing her to bring him to... That's like threatening to do something such... Oh. Because again, this entire acid thing is just... Holy moly. But the relationship with Kate increased at least. <laughs> Hi. To whom am I speaking? Jade Holland. Who is this? Isn't it the girl from the outro? Mrs. Collins, my aunt. My name is Branson Dunet. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I have an invitation for you. And I guess you can go off script here in some way and maybe lead them there to help you. But I guess they will just die either way. And now he does that same... Oh, that's so... Like, that's so cool in some way. Because now it makes sense why everything happened in the beginning, you know? But they, I was just about to say they don't animate the other characters. That's crazy. He literally just the exact thing now. And he knows exactly that one wrong move would let JK die here, so. And he, oh, but that's the thing now, though, right? He will save Kate, but he ultimately knows in the back of his mind as well, he basically sends the others to his death right now. Oh, that's so gruesome. Like, the, the mental toll this must take on you. God. Again, that's the most evil thing anybody's done thus far. And that's the scene we also saw with, with Morello and his kid. They're escaping on the ferry. But they ended up dying. Nonetheless, so... How and why? Mark, listen to me. Hey. Look at me. Why me? You had no choice. Those people. I... I mean... Delivered them to their death. Ultimately, he got them anyways. Mm -hmm. Even if this didn't happen, we saw what happened at the end of our game. New ones got invited either way, so... But I guess... But I just guess he enjoys it this way more. Because that way he, you know, gets more... Um, satisfaction out of torturing 
once he sends to deliver him them, you know, if that makes sense. Who else gets a free island vacation? It's not creepy, it's authentic. Mr. Dunette wants us to have a true period experience. I just hope it stays. Who knows what's in all these dark corners? Uh oh. Isn't that... Wait, isn't that... What's the name? Amanda? I don't know. Also with an A, I like to say in ladder. <laughs> like that's the same face model from Little Hope Girl. That's it? Do they really survive? Oh, you're here. All good things must come to an end. But how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. Yeah, like mentioned, the other so three have to die you. for this to work. Which Stop. even happened. I'm afraid it looks like Series 2 isn't going to be commissioned after all. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone. To the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie. The plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the... Yeah, that's only the way you get there, but... Around. Does it really what end here? Those who survive? No way, he lets them run. Them? Like, obviously, they would report him and everything. She was but we saw at the end that... <laughs> well, at least, though, no, not really he does anything, huh? <laughs> most afraid of in the whole world and As if he's weird talking. I, like there's still such a big space open behind me that lets into this big open um, living room. There still isn't a lot of stuff, so the sound can still be improved a bit. But yeah, it's impossible for me to really soundproof anything around here. Like, the only room where I can, like, close the door, you know, it's where everybody else has their sleeping room, usually, so it just would have been even more inconvenient. But, again, no way he lets them go. No way. What was that? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. 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 What's happening? We're going the wrong way. He pulls him back. Mark, look. Oh my god, that's insane. That's insane. I think I literally got a little bit off in that moment. <laughs> so, just for, you know, not only as he torture you into making such call, basically inviting five new people into their deaths, he then makes you believe you survive just to kill you either way. Like, anyways. Damn! Even before this already, I was, like, not debating, but, like, wanted to make a video on how I think that the Met is probably alongside, or at least behind, when you go, the best villain in all the games. And I feel like this further solidifies that. That is crazy. Like, that's legit evil. Like, all the other killers were either, like, mindless monsters, or, like, you know, the only other human villain we really had in this series was, um, you know... Some way, Josh, right? But um, otherwise, just the pirates. And I will be honest, the pirates were a bit bland. Nothing, nothing special, right? But like, Doom Matt is insane. Like this entire thing right here, like really evaluates not just, in my opinion, the game itself, but, like also the character and just uh, the pure evilness behind him. Because he's like, mentioned really just a killer who just kills for fun. You know, there's no deeper meaning behind it in some way, like I thought at first, right? Really just his hobby, basically. That's oh, that's insane. I will definitely make a video on that, in my opinion. Like, that is actually... <laughs> I love how he got this sniper, though. <laughs> he got everything. How does he get that? All, all that stuff. I mean, he's an FBI agent, so never mind. I guess that makes sense. But, <laughs> damn. 
is. <laughs> wow. That is insane, but like mentioned, very rare to get apparently. It really only works if, you know, um, all the other three characters are dead beforehand, and even then you can make a different choice, so. It's a rare thing to do, and I think nobody really gets it in their first playthrough. But it's probably the cooler ending, honestly. I feel like this would definitely be the ending in a movie, you know, like that's the thing we already said with Unto Dawn, where you think like what would be the canon ending and how would everything happen and if it was written as a movie, and I think this would be the movie ending, 100%. Damn. But this isn't everything, okay? We still have a bit more to check out, because now we check out all possible deaths throughout the game, at least hopefully. The thumbnail says 100%, so I guess it are all of them. Um, we already got a few, unfortunately. But there's obviously a lot of other ones that I want to see, like Charlie and the Grinder, or um, On the Boat as example, so... And it's 41 minutes. That's why, once again, we'll increase the speed a little bit. To, you know, not have to thing go, like, endless. That's still the first one with Aaron, which we actually managed to avoid, and I think I know how this one's going to look like. We saw the premonition for it as well. Get, get away from me! Yeah, yeah. The first choice really only changes the trait, but yeah, I know what's going to happen here. You're trying to attack him, and this is still weird. In some way. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, this is just another addition to my is the matter really human question because my man just gets stabbed like that and he just <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. I uh, like had to hit him because he would uh, like he didn't he didn't have best on his own. otherwise it wouldn't even have stuck, but like how does it not hurt him at all? Okay. Like, e like there's actually a theory some people said about how there are like two people or like more of them, you know, and like there's just one. But even then, how does this not affect him at all? It's so weird. But yeah. If you don't attack him, he doesn't do anything to you, which is still a weird thing. But yeah. That's the premonition we saw. I won't even lie, I think it's good that it's actually been like two weeks now because... Oh wow, that's actually... Terriblingly beautiful. You know, it's this form of art to, you know, close the eyes there, but... But damn, what I meant to say here? is, um... Now, the fact that it's not been so long, I feel like I would be feeling much different watching these scenes if it was like like a day or two after finishing the game. But okay, if you don't hide here and instead run, you run into no, him. No, please, but what now? I have a feeling the enemy. Oh, never mind. It still feels out. We don't do oh, like, mm. but I remember that one. I think that was one of the ones we actually got um, spoiled in the um, IMDb rating. Like, not exactly you to ruin will have it, but like that that may happen or can happen with the eye, and that was the one. Mm. But like, did he? Did he? Did he? Um, what is the word for it? Controlled animatronics in that moment? Like once again with a button or something? Because that would again support the two thing theory, right? Like why did the animatronics just fell or like work the way they did there? He had like something we didn't see or somebody else who worked with him in that moment to make that happen. I don't know. Um, I don't think we need to watch this again, okay? I, I, think, I think I've seen this now enough. So let's skip over this one. The barn. Oh, so Kate and Aaron would be here with us. Look, turn that door. All three of them. Come on. So with 
Aaron and Jamie were still alive, then it would have been uh, Aaron and Kate, then it would have been with Jamie in the barn. What does he have with Aaron though? What is it with her? Gosh, that sound effect on the X so when he would dip back out. Oh my god, it's not finished! Shit. Okay, interesting though. Like, did we even have the option to climb when we only had Jamie? I guess if you go for, for climb, then you'll just leave Erin behind. But how can you know that though? Like, why wouldn't Erin climb herself up there? This is the type of thing where you see, like, Erin. Is already too far behind and she can't go back again to climb up that that would you have to think during that moment maybe i like Aaron didn't even have a choice anymore at the end like you made the choice here and she just dies that's generally the thing i've realized that a lot of actions in this game are really 50 50. okay not a lot of butterfly effects not a lot of um cuties came a lot in the end actually like in the first half of the game there were barely any then later on there came a few especially in the final section like a lot of 50 50 choices it's really different previous games i feel like previous games were much more um not necessarily cohesive in that sense but like way more you know dependent on all of that but for Aaron, i don't know what he has with her yeah and she was uh, already too far at the front and that's why she couldn't get back up in time that's that's sad i don't need to see that again actually Back to the boat, Aaron on the boat. This is really interesting now, because we obviously. Oh shit! Can Aaron be alone on the boat? By the way, okay, you have to fail them, like on your own. Wait, what? Oh, I guess he just broke the neck. Oh, that was a bit anticlimactic, like very. <laughs> Visually unspectacular, but oh, and this with the she actually dodges it this time. Okay, it is possible for Erin to be the last person standing, which is it totally on her own throughout the entire thing. Wait, that's really it? It's the only way Erin can die on the boat. I mean. I guess. Um, obviously the Charlie death, I think we see the premonitions and everything too. We know already if he goes for the door then it's the wrong choice and then he will just... Yeah. That's just excruciating though. Especially the way his arm there at the end like... Just... Damn. You already know I'm going to make a death ranking video, with the devil me included, and this is obviously very near the top. Like being burned alive, holy. It's just unfinger, unimaginable pain. So, god dang. But there's a different version? Just... Same outcome, just different visual here, I guess, where he tried to lift the crate, then didn't go for it or something. Basically, yeah. The one with the arm was actually a bit cooler, visually, but... Charlie 4, there was another one. Again, it's all... it's all just different... Is that? One of those things. Different uh, versions of him burning. Ah, oh, that's a curator kind of thing, and that's the one we saw with, um... Charlie. The Premonition right? Like at the end of um, House of Ashes. Actually, interesting though, because I think that's the only premonition that can only happen in the curator cut, like I could think. the exact visual. And somebody told me that in the curator cut, you actually have Mark with like a different thing with fire coming down on it. But it doesn't matter because it will always result in this. It's a bit weird. I think it's a bit weird too, you know. But, um,. <laughs> Now we get to the grinder though, but again, the light is so weird. I, do, I still don't know what, what to do differently. Like, I can still install a light above me. Hopefully. I don't know. I hope it's okay. 
like mentioned, it's a relief to get back into the groove a bit. It still feels weird talking right now because I don't know if you can hear me or not. But now, grinder time! <laughs> back with Emily, like her upper body remained visible afterwards. What will happen here? Like, this one's a bit bigger. Mm. Oh, and he noticed it. Oh, he actually stops it. Why would I love to imagine that he actually would have helped him here? <laughs> Bloody English Charlie's fucking bastard made him say, okay, you know what, fuck you. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> like the timing on that. <laughs> okay, I will help you, you bastard. This is so terrible to laugh at, but it's so funny. Especially with the eyes. <laughs> it was at this moment he do <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> oh my god though it's actually holy moly that's what i that's what i thought the thing is much bigger so it's actually the entire <laughs> i'm sorry that's so funny to me <laughs> okay i will let you live you fucking bastard <laughs> I did not expect to laugh during a old death video, but here we are. Yeah, now we didn't see the crate lift open like that. It's actually... But I think that's the one with the Meetup, right? But we also saw the premonition. Ah, oh, that's so... He didn't even need the hook. The hook is just overkill. The knife already did all the work. Oh, but for the visual aesthetic, yeah, yeah. Oh, it makes sense because the rest of the hall is also filled with just that, right? Damn. Funny though how Park just lets left alone, you know? Um, yeah. No idea what this death is, by the way. I'm very excited to see what this could be about. Yeah, never seen this before in my life. But yeah, Mark actually ended up being the most plot armored, which was not weird, but like, didn't feel like the type of character to do that with, you know, but yeah. Oh no, Charlie, don't fall off. I, I, no way he can die from that. Oh, never mind, he can. I did not know that. Never seen that visual before in my life. You? I heard your call with Jumet. You set this all up. You set us up to die. Erin, you are out of your mind. I would never. You know you can trust me. 70% of murderers kill somebody they know. Somebody who trusts them. It's 79%. But I'm <laughs> not a murderer. Charlie, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Jumet literally stops the machinery from killing him. You bastard. Erin accuses him of murder. 70%. 79. <laughs> Seriously, Charlie might be... One of my favorite characters across the games. He's so entertaining. He's just, he's cracked me up at so many moments already. He's just so fun, okay? But this is cool, because I was really wondering, because of Charlie's death, what happens with this entire complicit section, you know? Because we didn't really get there to a conclusion, because Charlie sadly fell off the barn. But I guess we see it here. Erin is still alive, and now, because she hear the, the voice message accuses him. The last minute trip giving up our phones, the remote location, all part of the plan, wasn't it? But it does sound suspicious. You're in shock and you're not thinking straight. I would never... Mark, we need to tie him up until help gets here. 
He'll either stab us in the back or get the mech to do it. Aaron, I would- Quiet! Aim though. Cool to see that side from Aaron though, you know, really um, vocal and taking lead in some way, right? Like that's a cool character um, progression given that she was the one being ordered around by Charlie before. She's the one making the call here, very audibly, to Mark. It's really cool. Again, it's so sad that we lost Aaron so early on. Like, it could have been much earlier actually. But man, I feel like I want to actually play this, the game from that chamber section on just to see that again. Aaron's right. Sorry, so here's the a choice. Hang on, hang on. Use your heads. A 50 50 choice. <laughs> Mark decides, or we decide to you tie him up. Sorry, Charlie, and let me guess. That's not a priority anymore. Stop. Because we tied him up, he Stop. can now get killed. <laughs> because we already. Charlie! We later. Yeah, yeah. And they. Wait. They found out in the house, but we also did that. It was a fake. So let me guess. It will it's lead to his I death. Oh god. What? Oh shit. Man, Charlie's ripped though. Oh my god, what a what a what a what a screen though. But Cool, cool section though, okay, I think this is actually one of my favorite um, V-rings throughout the game, you know, because it happens really early on in some way. It doesn't really get resolved up until this ending section, but when you do then get it resolved, it feels cool, different, you know, because if you do believe this entire thing, which I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have, I don't think I would have um, decided to tie him up here, um, then... You see what happens, right? You believe in the fake story and it ultimately gets backfired to you. That's really cool. It's, it's, it's happening off screen, but I feel like the visual alone is enough to make up for it, right? Like, that's often the thing about horror movies in general. Off screen kills can often be really lame or like anticlimactic. But if the end product at least looks cool or feels very satisfying in the way <laughs> that can be satisfying, then it really works, and I think that's definitely the case here. That's really cool. If you really let yourself get fooled and believe he was a complicit in some way, this is your result. Damn. What? You, you just left him? With Sumet out here? Poor Aaron, too. Because he just really, you know, wasn't sure what to believe. And it was in some way also probably just her really um, leaving on frustration towards him. I guess she will accuse it anyways. Broken. Always. Broken. No, no, like, as soon as she... Oh boy. Come on, Can you at least try to fight back? Oh, I remember that from the... But again, she didn't even try to punch. At least try to or something. But yeah, I think as, as long as Jamie... But it's actually crazy then. If you as Aaron literally just ignore that entire thing, then it literally won't happen. At all. It literally just won't. Oh, but that's also so gruesome though. You know? Just really, you know... I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Like, just really gruesome when Lenore die. Okay, I guess this is just a version of... um. Jamie doesn't have the screwdriver, and you know. Jamie, I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Yeah. Again, if we we had a screwdriver on Jamie, promise. I should have just let it go to her. I promise. Then Kate would have been alive, but. Jamie. Yeah, we know thank what's you. happened here. Thank you, Tobias, Kate. Hey, at least Kate says thank you. I think that's that's sweet in some way, I guess. But why did she watch though? Like, just look away. Okay, this would have happened with Kate. Interesting. What's happening with Jamie now? Wait, there, didn't we see this the other way around? With Jamie's the one being attacked? Oh, that, that hurt! Oh, that! 
Oh, poor Aaron. Jesus! Come on. Fuck. What do we do? What do we, we have to go? There's nothing we can do. She's gone. Fuck. How does it happen, though? Me. Yeah, that's now the other way around, right? How, how does it... You know? How does it happen here? Oh, I guess if Kate chooses to save her now? Then what we just saw would be, but no, that they would have showed it the other way around, probably, right? Tell me down below how, how this action you works. I, I can't tell, I didn't play it. But damn, though, like, mm, you know, some deaths just really... Ah, hit you, literally. You can really feel them in some way. Okay, Kate leaves her to death. Why can't Kate leave everybody to die in some way? Yeah, now it's the exact same way. And he lets her drop the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fucking K can literally leave everybody to die. Like, can't you let Mark probably die at the end too? How could you just leave her like that? Boom. I love how the relationships go down when like <laughs> you just let a character and die. I will remember that. Come on. Okay, same scenario. Okay, okay. Just don't climb up, just keep running. Because that character's already too far ahead, I understand. <sighs> Tease near the finish, I don't like that. Interesting though, we do have few deaths that are repeated with characters. Well, not a lot. That's cool. Like, Man of the Den obviously had a lot. Oh, oh, so this section happens with Jamie and Kate if they're all alive? What's with Eren? Is Eren not there? Okay, she doesn't... Wait! Wait, 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 do you want to tell me that if Kate is still alive, you need to kill the dog? In order to... No way. It must be possible for all to survive, so the five, you know, and the, and the dog. Wait, what? Now he gets there and... There must be a way for everybody to survive here, right? <laughs> oh my god, that screen was... So... How do? There must be a way for everybody to stay alive there, right? Has to be. No way it's impossible to, to keep the five and the dog alive. What do you need to do differently there? It's funny though, because they did the exact same cut in the where where JV survives him, but with the with the zoo, which still doesn't really make sense. Why would he not hit her there when she's alone, right? But imagine that though. Imagine if you would have failed to keep Kate alive. It would be 50-50 more. You either kill the dog and say or baby dies. Imagine if the game would have been that cruel. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine that. That would have been so. Fuck. Okay, and yeah, we saw that too already with, with, with Aaron. How did you realize that though? I talk normally right now when something is on. But if I don't have any audio on my headphones, I talk a bit differently because it just feels weird. So, you know, it just... I don't know. Okay, now it's just the same explosion death, right? Yeah, yeah. That's such an insanely quick quick time event though. Like really just a second at the end. That's, that's cruel. So. I'm sorry, I have to. But, wait, I think there's there are more... Yeah, yeah, more both deaths. Yeah, we, we already know this one with Kate. I will just, you know... I'm sorry. Wait, are there two versions of it, though? Why are there two versions of it? What? I... No, please. I don't want to die. How the fuck did you do this? Fuck you, Jamie! Oh, I guess it's just her cursing her out, I guess. Jamie, I don't want to die. Yeah, it's, it's the same death, ultimately, so... 
And now the same thing will hurt with the boat. Does she really only have three? Wait, she only... Wait, what? Can she not die when she's on her own? On the, um... Yeah, this devil's like is a bit anticlimactic. It's just... It's done. But does she really... Wait. Can she not die once she's on her own there? Like, can she not be killed during the, um... You know, can she not be killed during the... I do not need to... No, 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 no. I do not need to see... I'm so bad. I do not need to see... We, we do not need to see the dog die. But... Can she not die? Once, Like, if Jamie dies in the chamber, obviously gets onto the rooftop and everything, and into the barn, and into the entire thing with Connie, right? Can she no longer die there? Or does she just get captured from that point on, and that's why we don't have anything? That would make sense, I guess. But no, Charlie could still be alive at that point, so... It said 100% deaths, but I feel like I'm being lied to right now. I don't know. Has to, has to be more, right? No way, she... No way, once you go through the chamber without her dying, she just becomes invincible until the end. No way. Or did they not show it because it would be just the same death as, you know, the others? We, they do be showing the same death the entire time, so, you know. I don't know, tell me. But again, I guess they would just really look, then look just exact same as with Jamie, I guess. Right. It's fine with Jamie. Couldn't Jamie die? Um in the um in the maze where you face the victim event i think this video is actually missing a few taken a bit unfortunate but again i don't say 100 percent right so mm. unfortunate but it's not the end of the world okay even if we now miss a few yeah okay yeah yeah okay okay Hawk, like mentioned, literally can't die up until the end or the trap. That's insane. Okay, he bounced a quick time event here and now just gets... Oh. Aaron was... No oh my god, he literally... <laughs> and for... for oh, but he no longer has the axe here at the end. Oh, and that's then what leads into all the heavy keys. I understand, I understand, I understand. We saw the premonition for that. But yeah, Mark literally can die up until the section. And yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. Oh, but <laughs> she was too slow. <laughs> Holy shit though, that means we were so close to messing that up because I remember with Jamie that moment we were Half second away from messing that up there, so god damn. And boom. It's like mentioned very e you don't really see anything, so But yeah, Kate can literally just <laughs> And even to Matt is like Alright. Oh boy, poor Mark. Guys, with his final thoughts being, she really left me. Oh my god, she even hold out to her. Oh. My man did not deserve that. And he. Ah, oh, that's what we. You know, even if he didn't do the. Um. <sighs> Get anything with chests just hurts so much. Uh, even if um, you don't equip the, the weapon bit on your hammer stick, then you will have that from the police officer. So, you know, should be fine always. Is that a great idea for series two? Unless you run away, I think then Mark actually just dies. <laughs> like, if we don't capture it from the, you know. But. Oh! 
it's now the scene with everybody on the boat and him not just murdering everyone. Oh my god, poor Aaron. Hang on. How was she supposed to know that though? Or like, see that even? Wait, I was just about to say it wouldn't be a super massive game without the decapitation, but I think Master the Envelope actually didn't have one, but... <laughs> Why do they hate Charlie so much? Aaron and Charlie just get bullied by the by the devs. The most brutal devs, the most graphic ones. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a clean cut though. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, Jeremy. Nice. Oh my god, that's so... Oh shit. Again, my entire stomach just... Oh my fucking god, that's so insane. Oh, we, know, we already saw that one, just, yeah. Holy shit, what a... <laughs> like, the Wendigo Lodge Slaughter... Seems like a kid's show in comparison to that. That's actually insane. Just one after another. And yeah, then the like mentioned this one's a bit a bit lame. But like in comparison to the other ones. Like there's not even like a crack sound or something, you know, just and done. Fuck though. Oh. <laughs> For a moment I thought that I looked up in sense of I've accomplished my mission, Connor style, and is dead and fine with dying, but he actually didn't notice. <laughs> I thought it was like, you know what? I can go now, I will just, you know, accept my death and my But he literally didn't notice and was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh Dumet, you are you are incredible. But now the bonus steps on if he just won't repeat it out with, with marking cage from the chamber. But that's the thing, Dumet always dies, no matter what. No matter what happens to you, you will always have the um But yeah, this cycle. Mark does not agree. And oh my god, how many insane gruesome deaths we have. The gas canister is now Hey. We don't know who these people are, but he's going to kill them, and we can save them. Not Let really. It will happen either way. <laughs> it's okay. Fuck, though. That's insane. Really want to save her now after she said that? Fuck. But you also really want to see her die like that? Fucking hell. This Matt is crazy. The Matt is actually... Like, seeing all the deaths really just puts an entirely new picture on the character and the game itself. That's just... I can't. I won't do it. I'm with you, Mark. I'm with you. Alright then. I, I'm scared. Oh, really? I would... How? How could you possibly be scared having... <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! And then the premonition, yeah. Must really say though, also a really brave character arc on both characters to really sacrifice themselves in some way, even though we already know it won't matter because. <laughs> They can't even imagine it. I cannot imagine the pain of like everything within you just getting completely, you know. Oh yeah, we we saw that, but like just thought of like you know 
through your veins and oh. it's literally unimaginable. It's like uh, literally through your nose as well, like oh my god. I literally can't even tell you like a top five straight away. I would literally have to sit down and think and you know. Oh, we, we saw that at the, the end of the other video, so that's the, that's the other bonus test. <sighs> Fucking hell. I'll just leave it now because, like I mentioned, I feel a bit more comfortable talking with sounds playing. But yeah. What was that? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Can we agree that... Like, this, I wouldn't necessarily no, say no, they no, have no, the no, best, happening? this game has the best deaths in all the, in the series, in the franchise. But 100% the most gruesome ones. Like, the thing is we saw really gruesome ones visually in Until Dawn and everything. Like, some of these are just torturous, you know. Fire one, the acid one. Um, visually also insane, one with the needle, the gas canister. <laughs> Charlie falling off the... <laughs> The grinder, obviously, fucking god. Thank you for the video, obviously. Um, link obviously down below. Again, I think a few of them are missing, at least when it comes to Jamie and Kate. I believe probably Aaron then too, right? I don't know. Like, isn't it like when you go with Aaron to the maze stand later on? Why wasn't Aaron actually in the barn? What happens with her? Oh, let me guess. She. I don't know actually. You can tell me if we missed something here or not. Even if we did, it's probably not a lot, but. Look! Fucking hell. Okay, that's it. <laughs> My first recording session is in really 50 minutes. There's also one way to get back, but yeah. Everything feels different at the moment. The lightning, the sound, the way I talk. It would take a while to get used to it. I still hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a long time coming to not finally do this one. If you did, leave a like down below to show me that you did. Subscribe if you want to, and we'll see each other again with lots more Daredevil Me content in the upcoming time. Thank you for watching.